Hello, my name is Michelle Wynn. Today I will be demonstrating the intramuscular injection. I will be using gloves, medication valve, alcohol swabs, gauze, syringe, needle, and a patient. I will begin by verifying the physician orders. I will check the six rights of medication administration, ensuring that I have the right patient, the right drug, the right dose, the right route, the right time, and the right documentation. I will check the patient's chart in the EHR. I will check the MAR. I will perform dosage calculation. It looks like the doctor has ordered six milligrams of morphine um, sulfate IM, and this is supplied in four milligrams per one liter. So I will need 1.5 milliliters. So the dose today will be 1.5 milliliters or six milligrams. I will begin by gathering my supplies. I will proceed to my patient's room. I will knock before entering. I will close the door or curtain behind me to ensure patient privacy. I will place my supplies down on a clean, dry, flat surface. I will perform hand hygiene and I will proceed with my patient. Hello, my name is Michelle. I'll be your nurse today. Can I please verify your first and last name and your date of birth, please? Thank you. So I've verified two um, identification identifiers. Um, I will take this opportunity to just double check that the medication matches. Mr. Jones, do you have any allergies, any drug, food, or environmental allergies? Okay, perfect. So today your doctor has ordered um, an injection of the morphine sulfate. This will be used to treat your moderate and severe pain that you've been experiencing. Um, it'll work by interrupting the pathway of pain response to your brain. Some of the side effects, um, you may be a little nauseous. Um, you may experience vomiting or constipation. Some of the more adverse effects would be dizziness, lightheaded, or um, increased or decreased breathing. Now, if you experience any of those, please let us know immediately, okay? Also, um, you may experience burning or stinging at the injection site today. Do you have any questions for me? Okay, perfect. Okay, so I am about to prepare the injection. I am going to um, just double check the medicine one more time against the MAR. I am going to perform hand hygiene and put on gloves. For today's injection, I will be using um, a three milliliter syringe um, with a 22 gauge by one inch um, needle. So I'm just connecting the syringe with the needle. I will clean the top of the medication valve. Okay, and now since I will be um, withdrawing 1.5 milliliters out of the medication valve, I need to put in 1.5 milliliters of air into the medication valve. So I will be putting in the air. Now I will invert this and withdraw 1.5 milliliters of the morphine. Okay, you want to tap to remove any air bubbles. And since I'm not going to uh, um, use this right away, I'm going to do the swoop method to put the top on. So I have um, 1.5 milliliters of the, um, the morphine. 
So this is 1.5 milliliters or six milligrams. Okay, I will move this out of the way. So now that we have this prepared, we need to determine the um, site that we will do the injection at. Um, for the purposes of this video, we will do it in the ventral gluteal uh, muscle. Um, um, so to atomically find this, lo this location on the patient, um, you will use the, the heel of your hand and you will put um, the heel of your hand on the patient's um, greater trochanter. And then you would make sure that your wrist is um, almost perpendicular with the femur. And then you will point your thumb towards the patient's groin. And then um, you extend your fingers up along the, the patient's um, iliac crest. And then you will um, make a V between your, your um, index finger and your middle finger. And the, the spot in between, um, so I, I'm gonna put it on here. So um, this will be the finger and the um, iliac crest. You will put the injection there. So it'll be right in the middle. Okay. Um, so, Mr. Jones, thank you so much for your patience. I have um, prepared your injection. Now I just need to check your um, site to make sure it is appropriate to receive the injection. So I am going to need to um, touch you. And if I can have you lie on your side, please. OK. OK. So when um, when assessing the patient, um, their area to make sure that it's an acceptable location. You wanna check the size and integrity of the muscle. Um, you wanna make sure that there's no bruising, no edema, no skin discoloration. Also, if they frequently get injections, um, you wanna just make sure they don't get them in the same spot. If they do, you would wanna rotate. Um, but for Mr. Jones, this is the appropriate site to apply the injection. Um, also, you, you want to palpate um, for tenderness or hardness. And none of that is present for, for Mr. Jones. Okay, Mr. Jones, this site is okay. So I'm going to go ahead and clean um, the site now, okay? To clean it for the injection. So I'm going to use an alcohol swab and I am going to clean the injection site. I am going to go in a circular motion inwards starting inward and then working my way outward. And um, I'm going to do this for about a two inch space. And then I will discard this. You want to let it dry on its own. Um, don't fan it to dry it or anything. So once it's dried, um, you want to get your needle and you'll hold it like this. And with your other hand, um, you'll use your owner and then you'll hold the skin with your other fingers. But let me go ahead and uncap this. So again, I'm holding this with my owner and then um, and I'm holding it like this to apply tension to the area. And then I'm going to use my two fingers and I am going to stretch the skin. Um, I'm making sure that I do not touch the injection site. Um, and when applying the needle, um, you're gonna hold it like a dart and you're gonna go in at a 90 degree angle. And um, when you inject it, um, you, you wanna inject it quickly, so, okay. And now that it's there, um, what you want to do just to check that you're in the right um, site, you want to pull the plunger back by the five to 10 seconds, just to make sure that you don't, um, no blood comes out. If blood came out, that would mean that you're in the wrong location. So now that I have the, um, the needle inserted, I am going to move my 
two fingers that was stretching the skin. I'm going to put it at the bottom of the syringe. I'm still going to keep my owner holding um, the area down. And then with my dominant hand, I am going to inject. Now, when you are um, injecting the medication, you, you want to um, do it about 10 seconds per milliliter. So I want to do it over about 15 seconds. Okay, and once all the uh, medication has been injected, you want to leave the needle in for about 10 seconds. And then you want to remove it smooth and steadily. You want to apply the gauze, discard of the needle in the sharps container. You want to apply gentle pressure to this area. Okay, now you want to just inspect it to make sure that there's no um, blood that may need bandage um, and then discard of this. You want to clean up any mess that you made. You want to remove your gloves. Perform hand hygiene and just check on your patient. Mr. Jones, are you okay? Do you need anything and are you comfortable? Okay, I am going to go and document this injection, okay? And I'll be back. 